In this video, I made 50 amazing puzzles out of Lego bricks and they're easy to build. Watch to the end and tell me which one is your favorite. Let's go! The first puzzle asks you to place 4 balls to the inside, then to the outside. It seems to be easy, but once you try it, you will notice that it's impossible to make 4 balls go to 4 different directions at the same time. If you try carefully, you will be able to make them stay in the middle because there are dents around the center. But how do you position them in the ends? Just spin it. Wow. The second one is called make some room. As you see, the bricks have fully filled the triangle frame. And what if I want you to place the yellow 1x2 brick inside the frame as well? It seems impossible, right? But let's rearrange the position of these bricks and try to find some more room out of nowhere for this little fellow. Wow, we made it! But how? Comment below to tell me your answer. This puzzle has only three parts, but it is not as simple as it seems. The goal is to put these two parts inside the frame, but you will find there is just a little bit longer than it should be. Even if you try to save some space by sticking the white part to the gap of the other one, it still doesn't fit. The correct way is to place them back to back and at some angle with the frame. This puzzle is called the missing arrow. There are four arrows, but the goal is to make five arrows. First, you'll probably try to combine these four to make a bigger one, but it's not quite the correct shape. So how do we do it? Just rearrange the arrows and jump out of the stereotype. The fifth arrow is the space surrounded by the four real ones. This puzzle is called the Tetra Spirals. I really like it and made a Lego version out of it. The eight parts are in different shapes and you need to make a square with these parts. It has only one solution and it's kind of difficult since one part can connect to any seven other parts. So you need to find a way to combine these parts properly. Brown one goes to here, the blue one goes to here, the pink one is right above, and the light blue one you may rotate it to find the correct way. And finally the yellow one. Now the puzzle is solved. This puzzle is a classic one, and you need to put all 6 cubes into the box through the square shaped hole. At first you may fill the cubes inside one by one, but you will soon find out that the hole is blocked by the cubes you just put in, and there is no way to put in the last one. So how do we solve it? This time we also put the cubes one by one, but place them around the edges of the box. So there will be enough space for the last one part. And now the puzzle is solved. This puzzle is my favorite one and it has only three parts as well. The goal is to put two twisted parts inside the box with a small hole at one corner. It's impossible to place the parts directly because the hole is too small. The correct way to solve this puzzle is to let them rotate around each other and they call it the vaults since it looks like the two parts are dancing. In this case, you will be able to fill these parts inside the box. Also, I feel really satisfied when I redesigned these puzzles with Lego bricks as Lego units always fit perfectly. Seriously, I can play this all day. Next one, let's trap this minifigure inside the triangular pyramid. Actually, before that, we need to put the pyramid inside the square cage. But it is not easy because the triangle is bigger than the width of the square. You see, it is a triangle for this aspect and also a triangle at another aspect. But if you try carefully, you'll find out it looks like a smaller square from this aspect. And now you can fill it inside with this angle. This puzzle is called the find the letter H. You may use these parts to form an H with long legs, but there is still one part left. So the correct way is to form a symmetric shape with a hole in the center and pull the parts to both sides. You can find the hidden edge. But there is another way to do it and it will blow your mind. You can just build these bricks up and look down from the top. It's a real perfect edge. Next puzzle is quite straightforward. It asks you to fill this box up. But beware that it is a very shallow box, so you can't put the letters vertically to save space. The idea of this puzzle is to maximize space efficiency by intertwining letters together and making the box a solid fill. As you see, the letters are interlocking and using up every inch of this box. After tons of time, I managed to solve this one. Mm. 
The goal of this puzzle is to take the frame out of the yellow cross, but the cross looks pretty solid and there is no way to free it other than using the force. But there is something inside the cross as you swing it, so the correct way is to rotate it like a helicopter and the cross will be separated into two parts. Now the puzzle is solved. This is a very unique puzzle. How do you take this round piece out of the blue base without flipping it upside down? It is very smooth, which is hard to hold tight. You can take a guess, but you can never think of my solution. The unexpected way is to blow it. <laughs> For this puzzle, you need to take the yellow square out. You can't break the white bricks and the black rubber band is not long enough to reach the end of the branch. No matter how you turn the square, it always stays inside. Now let's use some topology and you can make the rubber band go across the square. Puzzle solved. This is a secret box and I kept my passcode to my bank account inside. As you see, it is locked and there is nothing but several buildings that you can pull them up or push them down. There are no keyholes or dials, so how to open it? Actually, the key is the black shadows of the buildings. When you turn around, you will find out that the shadows are of different heights. After aligning the left building with the corresponding shadow, you can adjust the height of other skyscrapers and make all of them match their shadows. Well, now the box is unlocked. Let's see what's inside. Will you find out my Pasco? Subscribe! This is the last puzzle, but I assure you this is the most complicated one. First, I used a silver paint marker to give LEGO tiles a metallic look, and I built Thor's hammer. I locked the hammer to a base made out of LEGO bricks, and the only way to get the hammer is through these steps. First, you need to get a long axle. Push this place and tilt the base, and push this place on the back, and stick the axle inside the hole and turn 180 degrees, and push the first place again, tilt it again, push again, and stick in another hole. This time, the hammer is unlocked. Now let's see what happened inside the base when we did all of these steps. First, this tile locks the hammer. When we push the first place, the red parts move, and when we tilt the base, the yellow parts move. When we push the place on the back, the hole aligns with the red and yellow part. Then we stick in the axle, and then turn 180 degrees, the gray part also turn 180 degrees. Then we push the red again, tilt the yellow again, and stick the axle inside to drive the gear. You see, the gear drives the rack backwards, and then the hammer is unlocked. Puzzle solved. If you like my videos, please subscribe.